Rico. Up, up, down, up, cars. Up, up, up. And around down. And down the hill. Thank you, Fred. But, cars, let's go up. I've been filming Fred for the last four years, ever since I suspected What's this? he had autism. Grandpa. And on today's episode, mm, we're going to look at um, head banging and walking. The sound you can hear is the door knocker vibrating because of banging upstairs. And if we just follow it through, we can see what's causing the banging. I suppose the biggest question is why? Why the repetition? Why the rocking? But before I answer that, I want to show you this. As this canal boat makes its way through a flight of locks, one thing is certain, once the process is started, it can't turn back. And no matter how hard it is to achieve, the boat has to go through this process in order to move on up the hill. Autism can often have the same effect on an individual in that no matter how bizarre a whole set of rules, rituals and repetitions are, they have to be completed and adhered to in order to move on. I have observed Fred rocking many times and his rocking can be divided up into four categories. Anxious, Sensory, happy, <laughs> tired. If you have ever worked with people with autism, you will of course be familiar with rocking, but if you've never seen it before, it can appear quite disturbing and shocking. Are you ready to go in the car now, Fred? No. No? Yeah, I <laughs> Fred is described as multi-sensory, and he can be over and under sensitive to sight sound, smell, taste, and touch. And this sensitivity can sometimes affect Fred's balance too. Repetitive behaviour can be a way to deal with a need for sensory input, therefore rocking to get stimulation. or rocking to reduce stimulation because of a loud sound or a distressing environment. Rocking is a way to deal with all of these different senses and the anxiety that it brings. On your dinner, Fred. No. This process is an essential part of Fred's daily routine and it helps him cope with the world as he sees it and feels it. When Fred is particularly anxious, he bangs his head whilst making a droning sound. And we support Fred through this by providing him with ear defenders that block out the sounds that bother him. 90% of the time, this technique works and calms Fred. I would never advocate stopping Fred Rock, 
but sometimes he can rock and bang his head up against some hard surfaces. And in that circumstance, he is encouraged, if possible, to rock against something else. In his bedroom, I have fitted padding around his bed, and this allows him to safely rock and bang his head. It's not all bad, though. Just like Tigger, bouncing is fun, 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 too. If you've got any thoughts on head banging and rocking and different um, strategies on how to support someone with a sensory Look, disability, Dad, the then please man. get in touch. Dad, you can contact me here. Man. We'd love Look, to hear from you. What for that? Biscuits. You want a biscuit? Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! There you go. Thank you. That's alright.